OK, I'm now going to tell, show you how to move an inquiry into an order. Um, an inquiry, as we know, can be found here, is where someone has called you up and you uh, asked you to do something and you're not quite sure whether you can do it there or then. So you may have had to go back and ask one of your engineers whether they're available there or if it's even possible. But you didn't want to forget them, so you left them on the to-do list, if you will, which is your inquiry database right here. And now you've found out whether you can do it, you've come back and you want to um, assign some resources to that or create a quotation, um, take some action. So <clears throat> we'll choose one at random here. Well, we'll choose Bill Gates who, who needs a boiler installation. And we've got Bill's inquiry. Uh, it looks good. So we will go over to our little filing system here. And this presents us with our options. Uh, go back, edit, sign off or delete. And in this case, we want to sign off this inquiry. So we're going to click that, which gives us some options down here um, to, convert to convert to a quote or order. That's exactly what we're going to do in this case. But it may be that Bill doesn't want to go ahead. And if he doesn't, we can click one of these and that will end the order right there. But it will give us some information at the end of month as, as to why he didn't want to go ahead. It may be too expensive for him, which is a little bit unlikely. Um, but let's just say that he does want to go ahead. <coughs> we'll click that button, sign off, and we are now presented with a screen which looks a little bit frightening, but in actual fact, it's just asking us whether um, the details of the job are, are the same as the account details. And that might mean that um, you're doing a job at one of Bill's properties, but he actually wants the invoice sent off to the head office. Um, so if we say yes they are the same which will probably happen in the majority of the time it will pre-fill um, the other side of that form and if we say no we want to link it to an existing account because maybe we Sainsbury's is one of our customers so we type in Sainsbury's and search for them in this particular case we haven't managed to win that account it would pop up with that account pre-fill um, the account details on this side and but leave the site details on this side. So you may be doing a job in Camberwell for Sainsbury's but the invoice has to go off to Blackfriars. <coughs> but in this case we'll say that they're both the same and now it's pre-filled the other side. I have a quick check. Department boiler installation uh, recommended by Sergey. It's nice. Um, need five new commercial boilers in several properties. No extra notes so we'll now sign that off. And that has now created uh, an order. So order created successfully. And whenever you see this green banner and the tick, uh, my advice is to just close that down because it does move the page down to the relevant part that you will be accessing next. Um, and you can now see that this has created an order for Bill and he is now technically a customer of your company and he has uh, an ID number an order number and an account number which has been created for him and if you take any more orders for him you will always badge them to that particular account number here so he may have lots and lots of jobs which will always be on one account so I'll just look down order date <coughs> exact time status of order inquiry received recommended his address and we've got an order log here about who created it uh, and the inquiry and further down we've got our appointments which we haven't started yet so that is how to turn an inquiry into an order